Steak. I would say that most humans enjoy good steak. Some would even say a nice cooked steak is a delicacy. The question is, can we use it for bait? Would things in this water enjoy eating a nice juicy steak? We're gonna find out today, man. We're gonna do a little experimentation. Let me get everything set up here real quick. All right, y'all, so you can see we are out on this little boat ramp today. This is our view. It's like really actually nice out. You got like nice overcast. It's pretty breezy and it just feels good. Mission here is to do some fishing as well as crabbing. All right, so if you guys have been around for a little bit, you guys have seen this. We've done some crabbing videos. This is a ring net. Basically, this goes down to the bottom. Crabs crawl in, do a little crab rave dance. Eat the chicken, boom. Bring them up. I'm really hoping we can catch some, do a nice catch and cook, surprise Kelsey. It's been a while since we've been crabbing and just eating crabs in general, and they're freaking, they're expensive. If you try to go buy crabs anywhere out here, it is like not cheap. This pack of chicken was like five bucks. So here we go. We're gonna throw this in right there. All right, chicken basket number two. Ooh, that sun's coming out, feels pretty good. So here's where the science comes in today. We know chicken, it's, you know, a good crab bait. I'd say it's one of the normal crab baits. Chicken along with just fish, whatever bait fish is in the area or just fish in general. Never have I seen anybody use cow. This is a beef chuck eye steak. So this is eight bucks. A few dollars more than the chicken we bought. So we are going to put a nice juicy steak into the crab trap and we are going to see if, you know, anything wants a bite. Oh, it's two separate ones. All right, let's get a zip tie on here. I mean, for all we know, a lot of these things in the water, the crabs, fish, whatever, they have just no clue what a cow is how delicious it is <laughs> all right so there we go man steak in the basket let's put this one like right here hopefully none of our baskets get snagged either never really crabbed here so i don't know where the snags are boom all right so all of our meat is down the one thing about like crabbing and doing stuff with raw meat is just like you know just your hands and stuff you got to keep cleaning them especially when you're trying to film stuff. But we're doing it here today for science. Chicken has been down there for a little bit. We're gonna actually pick those up and then I'm gonna keep my eye out. This is the time of the year. The other day I was at a spot similar to this and I saw a bunch of mullet. that just kept coming by in schools and they're like jumping and stuff. So this is the time of the year where you gotta keep an eye out. You could possibly catch some fish from somewhere like this. So we're gonna go get the fishing stuff, but first let's just see what's going on down here. Hopefully we are not snagged. Okay. First bull. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Giant freaking crab on the first pull with the chicken. Alright, we don't got a lot of room on this pier to work with. Oh. Alright, I'm shaking. Get that back down there. Oh my gosh. The first pull. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can truly see how big that I mean point to point. That might be darn near eight inches. Holy. Alright. Where's the other chicken? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Two. These dudes are a little small, both of them. I think that was one male, one female. All right. Got some stuff going on here, man. I like that, that's cool. All right, let's get back out here. It's just like such a good feeling, man. It feels kind of like fall out here, to be honest. I don't know about y'all, I am very, very excited for fall. The fishing should get better here, and just in general, it's just a good vibe. As a lot of you guys know, I am from the Northeast, so like fall is, you know, it's like a lot different than it is down here in Florida. I'm gonna throw the spoon out a little bit. Just see, this is already tied on from when we were fishing the beach that one time. Oh yeah, man, apple cider donuts, apple cider, cooler weather, it's just a vibe. I have like absolutely no clue if anything would hit the spoon or not. I mean, it's worth the try, it's already tied on. But if there are bait fish swimming around this area, you know, it could look like one. Redfish, possibly, I don't know, jack. <laughs> There's a couple of things that would possibly eat this. It's worth throwing just to throw. I'm surprised that like, I don't know. I thought that, oh, bait fish popping near the weed line right over there. I didn't think that crabbing was going to be like boom boom right when we got out here and hopefully that's not the only ones we're going to catch today but you know that we had that big storm run through here and sometimes it really messes with 
a lot of stuff, including crab, shrimp, bait. It's good to see that they're here and the water's not too like fresh. You know what I'm saying? If you get too much rain, it could like mess with the water. All right, one more throw. I think there's a pot of bait right there. I mean, this is a big spoon. <laughs> I don't know, big spoon, big bait, big fish. I have some other stuff I wanna try and throw out here as well. I've never caught a fish around this area right here, so we're gonna try our best today. All right, y'all, the main event. A little anything, munch on the steak. First steak pool. Nothing. All right, you know, we didn't put it in too long ago. Let's just like give them a chance to soak up the scent. In my head, I just imagine they're like circled around it. It's like, are you gonna, are you gonna try it? Eventually, somebody's gonna try it. All right, let's try this one again. Chicken, nothing on the chicken. And one more chicken. They might've caught on to us already. Oh, hold on. Oh, that's a good one. Oh yeah, that ain't bad. Nice meal, we could always, um. We can always like call them too. If we start catching a bunch, that is a nice little eater. I'll, I'll take it. Definitely a lot smaller than that first one we caught. All right, so we just kind of switched it up here. I put a little gulp with four inch swimming mullet and a little jig head on here. We're just gonna kind of toss this around, kind of around the dock and um, around over that way. It's kind of windy and it's kind of like a heavier current out there. Ooh, ooh, that is a breeze. So we'll kind of pitch it into the slower area, see if maybe you can pick up a flounder or something. Hold on, I'm gonna bring these up again real quick. It's been a second. All right, chicken. Oh, geez, that's heavy. Oh, that's a good one. Oh my gosh. Real nice one. That is a freaking crab right there. Steak. Nothing. How's it going? Oh my gosh, I just let this sink. What the? I don't know if you guys saw that. That big freaking crab was clenched onto my gulp. They're definitely here. I just kind of got out of the way a little bit. Let this boat do its thing. He's the only boat out right now. So after that, we are big chilling. That was a big crab that bit this gulp too. You guys, you guys saw it? Look at this steak. It has looked better. I'm not exactly sure if anything's actually feeding on it or if it's just like deteriorating in the salt water. Oh no, toss this back down there. If nothing bites, we might move the spot. Maybe it's just a little cursed spot, but I want to catch something on the freaking steak, man. Right after you catch this big old flounder, watch this. It's just, the thing is, right, I love fishing from spots like this. I'm sure to a lot of you guys, it's very relatable. It's just, this is frustrating, man. If I had a boat, or more importantly, if this freaking boot was fixed or foot, whatever, we can get back out here on the kayak. I know we could catch some better fish. We'd have a lot better luck than just standing on this little dock. But we are still working on that. It's a, it's a long story. Might just freaking boot kayak anyway. I mean, how could you not eat a big old steak? I mean, sure, it's a cheap steak. Maybe they know that. Maybe I should've got like the big old freaking $50. Maybe these are some bougie crabs, man. Freaking Gordon Ramsay crabs. Oh, that is the spot right there. I think we lucked out today too. I don't know if you guys can see that. It is dark the whole day's been pretty dark the sun's kind of coming out now but i'm just happy we didn't get rained on instead we're making it rain with crabs whoa that's heavy dude that's heavy that's oh yeah 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 this is the hot one these things are fast and strong sometimes you for real gotta be quick with it all right get that back out there look at that another i mean look at it in the sunlight too 
Dang, man, a little muddy on the bottom. Oh my god, what the heck? There were three in that one? I, don't, I wouldn't... What are you doing? You good? Was oh, your thing stuck? There you go. Big old Kingler, three smaller crabs on the chicken. Come on, steak, don't do us like this, man. Don't do us like this. Oh, underneath. What? <laughs> what is going on? How is this down there? Did I just put it on your dome ski? Yes, sir. Hello. Can I interview you? You are dark and muddy. You must have been out. Freaking spiked me with their little back fins. All right. Well, there we go. We have first official catch on the steak. Is it, um, is it performing well? That is to be determined. It's doing something. Four crabs in the inventory. It's feeling like a pretty good day so far. We honestly haven't been out for that long. I'd say maybe like an hour at this point. Oh. I think we came out here at the right time though. The tide is moving. Crabs are grooving. I'm just excited. Dude, it's been so long since we've had crabs. And again, if you buy like, I don't know, a bushel maybe or even if you go to one of these like crab restaurants where you can get like a seafood boil or something these things are freaking expensive dude way more than like the price we paid for bait if we can get, especially catch a few more and also kelsey freaking loves crabs so happy wife i don't know what's going on here our line is literally like quivering look at this you can see that might be from the tide, but we might have something on there that's big. Oh, dude, what the? Were you guys doing what I think you were doing in my net? I feel so bad right now. I just disturbed that. Don't worry, I just scooted them out. I feel like so embarrassed. I, sh I should have knocked. Okay. Well, definitely if you see that, you don't want to take those crabs because they're producing more crabs. One day, hopefully, if I didn't mess everything up, she will be a sponge crab. She will create lots of baby crabs, and those crabs will be big crabs, and then we can eat those big crabs. Please don't be in this other line here. This one's been on freaking fire, dude. Oh, my. This poor guy's dark, but he only has one claw. Get him back. It looked like the other one was starting to grow. This is... Okay, yeah, that's a male, too. I just wanted to make sure. These weren't the, that wasn't the couple. That's a decent size one, both claws. That is five. All right, steak. Might be the spot, let's move it. All right, we'll put it over here near our best performer and uh, we shall see. If y'all did see the last video, I uh, appreciate all the kind words and everything. We ended up going a couple of hours away from the storm because it was supposed to hit right over top of us. And then it kind of moved and like almost hit where we were, but we didn't get like any winds or like anything. I um, feel for all of you guys who are like in the flood zones and where the storm surge was. Um, hope all of you guys are safe, you know? But yeah, as I said, we drove a couple hours away, took the RV. It's just nice that we can pick it up and go. But also it's just like, I don't know, something came over me as we were moving it. I really, really, really miss traveling and just doing RV stuff. If you guys don't know, Kelsey and I bought an RV in like 2021 and that's kind of when we moved out of our apartment and I got fish, dude. We got fish on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Freaking yeah, dude, redfish. <gasps> that is what I'm talking about. I mean, you never know what you can catch out here. Look at that, that is a beauty too. Two spots on that side, three and one on that side. Oh my gosh, dude. Heck yeah. I believe they have to be like 18 inches. This dude's close, but I don't think he is quite there. Get a good release on him. Thank you, buddy. Oh, that is so cool, man. It was like right off front of here. Mm, mm, mm. Now I know, listen, the title says whatever, steak for bait. We're using steak for bait, but also just eating whatever we catch, just trying to catch everything on the side. That is the first fish I've caught from around here. And that is a good sign that, you know, they're just around freaking redfish. All right. All right, nobody in the chicken. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. Oh my god. <gasps> Dude. Holy crap. That might be the biggest crab I've ever caught. And it was on the stake, dude. There's one left in there too. Oh my god. Look at the size of his claws. <sighs> Holy freaking crap. I gotta take a picture. What is even going on today? Dude, this is the biggest crab I've ever caught. Possibly. I just hope you guys can tell. We'll show you later. Oh, geez. All right, we gotta get him in the... Hold on. Oh my God. We thought that one was big earlier. That is a freaking monster, dude. Okay, well on the steak, I thought it felt heavy. Oh my God, this feels heavy too. Oh, another nice freaking crab, man. Oh, oh. I blame the boot for that one. Oh, hold on. All right, one's upside down. You definitely want to be careful though um, when your crabs are in cooler, bucket, whatever. You do not want them on their back. Sometimes they like kind of grab at each other and like can get flipped or they just kind of, you know, go on their back for whatever. Apparently that's how they die and you don't want to clean and cook and eat a crab that dies before you actually put it out. I think they, they say it like drowns in its shell or something. I don't know if that's accurate. I'll keep pitching this around here while we're waiting a little bit more. Whew. What a freaking day. <laughs> if you guys could go down there, I don't ask this much, but if you guys go down there, hit that thumbs up button. If you are enjoying this video, it would mean a lot to me. And uh, yeah, it just feels good to be back out. Didn't fish for a couple days because of, of course, that storm. And we are doing some stuff. in the kitchen with Chef First State. We're gonna be doing a little bit more experimenting today. So we brought the crabs back home last night, cleaned them up. I don't know, what is this? This was in the biggest crab that we caught. Have any of you guys ever seen this? It's like dark. Like the crab butter is like weird. Like I didn't, we, we didn't end up keeping that one. I don't know what the heck that was, but we cleaned up all the rest. I actually boiled them in the pot and uh, they're ready to go. They're in the fridge right now, it's the next day. Boom! It's a little tedious, this might take me a little bit, but we are going to peel all of these. It's uh, definitely a labor of love, but we're gonna have to get all the meat out of these succulent little shell dudes. And once we get all the meat out, we can go on to the next step. Today we are making something that I've never made before and I kind of, I have a weird feeling about it. We are going to be trying to make some fire crab cakes. I've had like decent-ish crab cakes before. I don't, I just feel weird about crab cakes because I feel like every time I go to a restaurant and there's like crab cakes on the menu. It's just so, it, like, it's so expensive. It's like not even worth it. Like I've seen them like 25, 30, $35 for like these tiny little crab cakes. And I feel like half the time you get them and there's like no crab in them. And it's just like, what is it? What is even it that honestly is even worth? So. Between that and I've also had some not the best crab cakes ever. So I found this recipe. We're going to try it out. Of course, today we've got the static. If you guys are not familiar, this is my own baby. This is my company that I just started. We've been using it and talking about it a lot recently. Uh, I appreciate all y'all who have placed your orders and a lot of you guys said you love it. You've been sending me pictures. Keep those pictures coming. And um, yeah, man, if you guys want to try this out, link down in the description below. We're going to be using this today. It just has like a spicy, unique flavor. It just goes good on everything. That's all I got to say. Again, link down in the description below as well as uh, if you guys don't follow the Instagram, I made a fire freaking lobster mac and cheese. If you just go look at it. If you think you've seen good mac and cheese, whoo. This is some freaking good stuff. So we are gonna get this recipe ready and um, yeah, man. First time ever making crab cakes or attempting to. Let's see how the heck this freaking goes. All right, let's get to work. So one fourth cup of mayo. Two teaspoons Worcestershire sauce. Two teaspoons Dijon mustard. You already know we got the static seasoning. Healthy dose of that. Two thirds cup of panko breadcrumbs. Add crab and stir. Add egg and stir. All right, so here is what we've got. We are just going to now attempt to form these into balls or cakes i guess i guess the best way to probably do this is use your hands all right so we got three nice cakes i'm just going to put a little bit more seasoning over top all right so here's a closer look this is what they look like basically all we are going to do is just put these in the pan we got some oil in there that's getting heated up and um, i guess you could put these in the oven there's a couple ways to make these but we're just going to do it in the pan all right and i think we are ready we are rocking and rolling three cakes one pan and got some sizzling going and remember this crab is already cooked so basically we just kind of want to like get like a crispiness on each side 
and then hopefully get like a nice consistency and these will be some fire freaking crab cakes. I just hope I'm not one of those people, you know what I'm saying, one of those crab cake makers who uh, make crab cakes and it's just not worth the crab cake price, you know what I'm saying. Oh yeah, all right, there's a good look. Gordon Ramsay, where you at, man? All right, well this side is cooking up. Let me know what other kind of catching cooks you guys want to see. I'm not gonna lie, dude. This is smelling really, really freaking good. The only thing, like the only downside of these crabs is that it takes a long time to clean them and sometimes catch them. Yeah, you don't get the most meat as well. Good thing we got like a good amount of crabs today. All right, let's flip these real quick. Come on, please look good. Ooh! Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bro. Alright, so the only thing left to do, I melted some butter. I'm gonna put some more static into the butter. If y'all saw the last video, catch and cook, man, y'all already know the static butter. Liquid gold right here. And we're gonna be fancy. We transferred to a real plate. And we're gonna pour the static butter. Oh yeah. I think Kelsey just got back too, so she's gonna try these with me. <sighs> All right, let's go for close up real quick. This is my favorite part of these videos, man, the taste test. So again, I will not proclaim to be the crab cake master. This is my first time ever making them, and I'm not the most biggest connoisseur of the crab cake, as I stated. This all might change here. All right, looks like some meaty biscuits. Oh my gosh, nice and crispy. Look at that, I don't know if you guys can see. Hold on, hello? Got some meat in there, you got some juices from the butter and the static. Oh, all right, man, let's give this a shot. Hold on. Got the spice from the static? Hold on a second, man. Oh, there's a dog here. Hold on. Life with a golden retriever. We're not a freaking restaurant, man. We're just a guy. That's one of the best things I've ever made. And we've ever caught and cooked. I'm not even going to cap, dude. If you guys are not aware, we have caught and cooked crabs like way back in the day. We made crab bisque on the channel. I will leave that down in the description below. That was freaking fire. We've made like cheesy crab dip. Um, put that down in the description. We made crab rangoons. This, oh man, I know this might top all of them, to be completely honest. This is freaking crazy. As always, thank you guys so much for all the freaking support, man. <laughs> I am going to destroy these. Kelsey should be back here in a second. She's going to be hyped, dude. And while I was at the store getting the rest of the ingredients, we got her some flowers as well. Look at how cool these things look, man. It's like fire. That's pretty much going to do here for this video today, man. Again, thank you so much for all the support. All I got to say is let's keep this rolling. Thank y'all for watching. See you next video. You